Hey guys, got another video here for you. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace or fix the explorer.exe file and also the shell32.dll file. Now, these can become corrupted by malware, or it may be the case that you've been using uh, custom themes in Windows 7 and it's now corrupted those files. And I'll show you how to replace those files and make it work for you. So, the, we're going to need two objects here. We're going to need Windows 7 CD and also we're going to need 7zip. Okay. Now this video has been requested a fair bit, so let's get started. First off, I want to go to the C root directory. So go to my computer, C root directory, and then create a folder in here called Files. You can call yours whatever you like. This is where we're going to extract our files to from the CD. This is my CD. I've got it in the actual uh, DVD drawer there. So what I'm going to do is right click and open that. This allows to explore that drive, uh, that CD there, and then go to the sources folder. I'm going to come down to install.wim, W-I-M, and you can see it's quite a big file. And the reason for that is because inside here, it's got all our files for Windows when we install it. Right-click on that and go 7-zip, and then open archive. If you don't see that, then you haven't installed 7-zip yet, so you need to install that, okay? Okay. Here we have five folders. Each one of these folders has a Windows operating system in it, different types, uh, starter, home premium, uh, and so on, pro professional, ultimate. So I know home premium is number three. I will put the list on the screen there so you can see which is which. If you want to look in the folder, you can have a look in XML, and that will tell you which folder is what. Okay, so let's go into the uh, Windows directory there and pull down until we find our Explorer file. That's our brand new file we're going to be using. And what we're going to do is extract this file. And you guessed it, we're going to stick that inside our C root directory into our files folder. Click OK and OK again. While we're in here, we might as well get the uh, the uh, shell32.dll file, we can get that inside our system32. It's going to pull this down. Just trying to find this file really quickly, but it's always trying to do things. Okay, where are you? There we are. So that's the file that we need, and I'm going, to ex I'm going to extract that one as well into the same place. C root directory and files, and there you go. Click OK. Right, so we finished with our CD now. Let's have a look at the uh, C root directory and the files folder. There you can see our brand new files that we're going to be using. Okay, so let's go to our Windows directory now on our actual system and look for Explorer. There you can see it there. So I want to come down to the Start or the All button and type uh, CMD and then right click on this, go run as administrator, say yes, and then open that up. What I'll do is I'll drop that right next to it so you can keep an eye here when we uh, make some changes. Okay, from here we need to take ownership of this file. So the first thing I need to do is um, I'm going to change directory to the Windows directory, like so. And then from there, we're going to start typing some commands out. Uh, so what we're going to do is take own, like so, and then space forward slash f, and then explorer.exe. This will give us the actual uh, access for that. We now own that file. As you can see, PC uh, Brytek owns that file. Now we need to type this command, which is now going to give us full control of it, so we can actually uh, remove it. Uh, grant. And then this is where you need to make sure that you've got the uh, administrator account, okay? So we're going to forward slash grant, and then Brytech is the uh, user account, 
administrator account and then we do colon F okay push enter and you should see successfully process one file okay so now we've processed that file we're going to rename the file now we've got access to this file we can actually change it and remove it and do what we like with it so what we're going to do is rename the file and then I'm going to rename that but before we rename it we need to type the first original name what it is so rename explore.exe and then space and then we can now type .exe and then underscore old okay this will give us the name you can see it changed there okay so now we've called it dot, uh, underscore old so now I want to move this file to the files folder okay so what we want to do is type move and we could just go into there and cut and paste that straight in if we wanted to but what I want to do here is underscore old and I want to put this into um, my C root directory and files folder like so and one file moved and you see it's gone so if we go back to our C root directory here now and look inside there we can see we've backed up this file and we've moved it now we need to get this new file inside there so what we need to do is uh, go back to our C root directory and then change directory to a files folder like so and then we can do the copy command to copy that file okay and then we need to have the path where it's going to go to which is obviously C windows like so and if we do that one file is now copied and we have our brand new file inside there okay very simple and we need to repeat the process for the shell file so what we'll do first is I'll just get to the location where shell is that's in system 32 and I'm going to come down and find that shell file okay there it is there okay so what we need to do here is we need to uh, take some ownership for this file so before we do that what we could do is use this type of file here and if you right click you can see it says take ownership and that's because I've done a registry hack and uh, you can actually edit this file and I'll show you what it does it does all this for you you can see it uses that same command and grants you access for that file and gives you as it said in administrator colon F same thing okay except we can right click on it so if I right click on this now and take ownership and say yes to that it will give me access for that file so what we do here is uh, so let me see if I can rename that now sometimes it doesn't work so let me just try to do dot old and see that continue it's allowed me to rename that file you see because we've took ownership of it so if I wanted to now we could move this file so if I do CD backslash here and then change directory into my windows backslash uh, system32 folder like so and then we're gonna move this file move and we're gonna call it shell32.dll underscore old and we're going to move this to the uh, c colon backslash files folder like so and that's that file gone and now what we need to do is copy our new file in so what we need to do is again going to change directory again and then straight away go into our files folder and then copy shell32.dll into c colon 
windows. System 32. So what we're doing there is copying that file and you should see it appear. And there you go. So that's pretty much that. They're all installed nicely. And we should have our backups inside our, our files folder. And there's our backups. Okay, and we've just copied these into it. And that's how you repair the explorer.exe and the shell32.dll file. I hope you enjoy these videos. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button show your support and also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them if you want to see more videos like this then uh, send me a message on what videos you want to see and i'll do my best to make those videos for you i hope this helps you out guys see you later bye for now